Hi everyone, welcome to another Clean Machine Live. I'm Jeff Palmer, founder, CEO of Clean Machine, plant-based fitness nutrition. It's good to be back from the holiday break, uh, bringing you the latest and most updated information, science research, and just good old conversations and interviews, and the latest in health, fitness, and nutrition. <clears throat> this one is gonna be kind of unique because we're gonna talk about how your health may be dependent on nutrition, specifically supplementation and exercise, and how they work by themselves and how they work combined, which is going to be really interesting. It's a unique study, the study we're going to go over. But first, let me get the um, disclaimer out of the way. This video is for informational and educational purposes only and is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. So this one is uh, a study <clears throat> that came out in April of 2022. Now it's uh, being circulated now as sometimes uh, they go out just to the uh, uh, individuals who read this uh, research papers. And then it gets more widely circulated. So sometimes I get them as uh, they get published in different articles and magazines. So this one is a really unique one. It is looking at, uh, this study is looking at vitamin D3 supplementation, vitamin omega-3, not vitamin, omega-3 essential fatty acid supplementation and exercise and how that affects cancer risk. So this recent research shed some light on, on the benefits of actually combining supplementation and exercise and what those potential outcomes could be. Uh, now, yes, this is an epidemiological study. So it's looking at people uh, that did do this and, and looked at what happened. So there's not a real causal effect here, but it's definitely worth taking a look at because the results are pretty, pretty significant. Um, sometimes the results are so minor that could be lots of different contributing factors, but these are clearly uh, pretty impressive results once uh, you find out. So, you know, when I talk to people about health, nutrition, supplementation, that sort of thing, one of the most common things I get from people is, quote, I don't take supplements because I eat healthy. Well, <clears throat> Statistically, uh, over 60% of Americans believe they eat healthy, and 65% of them are actually clinically overweight. So that in itself should raise a little red flag. But let's take a look at this, the actual real statistics. And these are from big groups that have done lots of surveys. 42% of white Americans are vitamin D deficient. Why 69% of Hispanics are D deficient and 82% of Blacks are vitamin D deficient. Now, this deficiency can be even worse in vegans because vegans uh, don't have, generally there is vitamin D found in animal products and vegans or those on a plant-based or plant-exclusive diet may have even lower amounts of vitamin D3. So maybe really important to supplement. But here you have another case where 70% of Americans in studies have shown to be insufficient in their omega-3 fatty acids. So if 63% say they're eating healthy and don't need to supplement, yet 70 to 80% are lacking and deficient in this that's a problem. That's a big disconnect. Just by saying you're healthy or you eat healthy doesn't mean you are. And just by believing it, you could be putting yourself at risk for cancer. And that's what this study shows. So let's let's dive into this study. And, and the other part of the thing that I hear is, you know, uh, hey, let's get in the gym. Let's do some regular exercise. Oh, I don't need to exercise because I eat healthy. Well, I'm going to show you in this study how important exercise is when combined with proper nutrition and a healthy diet. So you have three pillars here. A healthy diet's your foundation. That's what you should be starting with. A good plant-rich, uh, fiber, polyphenol, healthy plant-centered diet. 
then adding supplementation when you get tested and you find that you are deficient or insufficient in them or suspect that you are, supplement to make up for those gaps and then exercise. So those three pillars, if you eat right, supplement and exercise, you'll have the best outcomes. At least that's what the they showed. So let me go ahead and put up the, the, um, the study for you in the comments. And then I'll put it up on the screen too as well so you can read the study. I'll read it out loud too as well. Here it is up on the screen below. <clears throat> So this is an April 22 uh, study, combined vitamin D, and it's talking about D3, omega-3 fatty acids, and a simple home exercise program may reduce cancer risk among active adults age 70 and older. It's a randomized uh, uh, clinical trial. So this is really important that it's an RCT, randomized uh, uh, clinical trial, and it's Yes, it is looking at people in 70 and older, but those are the highest risk for uh, cancer. So it's a good group to take a look at and what can be done to actually prevent that. So let's dive into the study. <clears throat> so they broke this out into different arms of the study. They looked at people taking just vitamin D. They looked at people taking just omega-3. They looked at people just exercising, and they separated it out, and then they combined them. So they did a bunch of different, what's called arms of the study, different arms of the study, uh, and to see what the outcomes were if you took vitamin D3, if you took omega-3, and if you exercised, and any combination of those things, what were the outcomes? So they, they took a look at those taking vitamin D3, and you were 24% less likely to receive a cancer diagnosis. And that's a quote directly from the study. Those who took omega-3 had a 30% reduced cancer risk. And those who did not supplement at all, but just exercise had a 26% less likely to receive a cancer diagnosis. Now, all that's pretty good, but roughly 25 to 30%, if you just exercise, just took vitamin D3, or just took uh, uh, the omega-3s. So 25 to 30%, that's a good, impressive, uh, reduced risk of cancer rate. Awesome. That alone should be good enough. But this story, this study actually uh, dove much further than that. They said, okay, well, what if you took both omega-3 and vitamin D3 together instead of just one or the other? Well, they went from 25 to 30% less risk up to 45 to 50% less risk when you combined either vitamin D3 and omega-3, vitamin D3 and exercise, or exercise and vitamin uh, omega-3. So any one of those two combinations, exercise or uh, the vitamins uh, uh, combined together, uh, the vitamin D3 and the omega-3 combined together, about a 45 to 50 percent. Well, that's twice as much as the better than than doing just the individuals alone, just exercise, just D3 or just omega-3. So when you combine them, you get a synergistic effect. Now, this is where it starts to get really important because you're seeing that healthy habits combined can have a cumulative positive effect and greatly reduce your cancer risk. We're talking going from 25 to 30% to 45 to 50%, close to 50% risk. So almost doubling really your, your um, reduced risk for getting cancer diagnosis. So that's pretty impressive. But what happens when you put all three of those together? Those that were in the arm that took both vitamin D3 and omega-3 and also was in the exercise program, and they got a 61% less likely to have cancer. So you can see really clearly from the study, this is why I like it and why it's so important, is because there is a cumulative effect. The more you pay attention to nutrition, especially nutrition that could be insufficient, and getting them up to optimal levels, 
even if you think you're eating well, even if you think you don't need to exercise, those who took vitamin D3, it's actually not a vitamin, it's a hormone, but it, those who took D3, omega-3, and exercised 61% compa compared to 25 to 30%. So more than double than um, those just taking exercise, just taking vitamin uh, D3, or just consuming omega-3. When you combine those three together, you see a synergistic or cumulative effect that are greater benefits than each or any individual one of these. And this is one of the reasons why my focus is not just fitness. Obviously, fitness is a key. Exercise is key to doing that. This study shows that by adding exercise to the two. Remember, if you took omega-3 and D3, that's a 47% reduction in cancer risk. That's awesome. But when you added exercise to that, 61% reduced risk of cancer. Now that's incredible that just upping your nutrition got you that much benefit, but upping it and adding exercise to it got you even more. That's why I push a whole uh, whole food diet. First, start out with that whole food plant-based diet and then add your supplements, especially vitamin D3, which remember 70 to 85% of Americans are deficient in vitamin D3 and omega-3s. I know we can say, oh, but I'm getting, you know, flax or chia or hemp or whatever. Yes, but getting them on a regular and consistent basis is key. And when people forget to do these things, that's when they get into trouble. And that's when the body can get into the insufficiencies. Remember, I, I, I wrote this, 70% of Americans have insufficient intakes of omega-3, yet 63% of Americans believe they are eating healthy. Well, that, those two can't be. One is a belief system. I believe I'm eating healthy. The other is science. 70% of people aren't healthy because they're not getting sufficient amounts. So I really want to press this, that people are lying to themselves. They like to believe they're eating right when they're really not. You know, Oh, I don't eat junk food much, often, too often. You know, it's just like, okay, but you just had McDonald's the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that, that's not healthy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's And so making up for those insufficiencies, one, get yourself tested if you want to get yourself in there. That's why I like and encourage people, excuse me for that, that's why I encourage people to go to chronometer or go to, uh, you know, one of these uh, tools that you can put in your daily food. Don't change your diet. Just put it in and see where you're um, not meeting your requirements are. I think you'll be surprised. I think most people will find they're deficient in magnesium, in uh, vitamin D3, in omega-3, in iodine. Uh, I know I did even. I was curious about it and I found I got it tested and sure enough. And I started supplementing and wow, what a difference. My body fat went down tremendously just by getting iron, iodine. Why is that? <clears throat> iodine is the foundational molecule in thyroid. Thyroid hormone uh, controls your appetite. It's called T3 and T4. T3 is the tyrosine with three iodine molecules or four iodine molecules stuck to that tyrosine. That's T3, that's three iodines, and T4, that's four iodines in there with a little copper. So that's what makes up our uh, thyroid hormone. And yes, we need to replenish that. No, it's not in the soil. It's been, it's been leached out of the soil from monocropping. That's putting the same crop in the ground every time and just uh, pulling out all the nutrients and then just adding synthetic fertilizers. Well, yeah, the plant will grow, but does it have the nutrition that was once in the soil? No, it's been wiped out by over farming and over farming the same crops in the uh, soil all the time, just pulling out all that nutrient till the, there's hardly any nutrient rich um, left in the soil at all. So, hey, if we know this is happening in modern factory farming practices. We know we have to be careful to put those nutrients back into our bodies 
Because our body doesn't care. It doesn't, it doesn't, our body says, oh, you believe you're getting enough vitamin D3, then we're good. That's not how, that's not how physiology works. It works when you do actually put enough vitamin D3 in to, to get to sufficiency. And look, you know, especially for blacks and Hispanics, 70 to 85% of blacks and Hispanics are deficient, but even almost 50% of whites uh, people in America are deficient in vitamin D3. Don't let this happen just because you believe it. Don't get yourself into a health challenge just because you believe you're doing good enough. Put it into a system, a calculator, a nutrient calculator, see what you're really intaking in a day. I think you'll be surprised and I think it'll be important why supplementation and why combined with exercise you can get 61% reduced risk of cancer rates. I do this because I care about you. I love my life. I love my wife. I love, I'm enjoying the heck out of my life. And I'm having fun and I want other people too. And I hate seeing people around me, especially at my age. I just turned 60 this month, you know, falling to all kinds of disease states. And I just read a study I'll be talking about it on the next Facebook Live um, that that shows that the almost seventy percent of heart attacks can be prevented. This is the study quote. This is not me saying this. Prevented by diet alone, no other factors. Heart, yeah, smoking bad, all those kinds of things. Paling to seventy percent of that could be ended. Uh, just by changing the diet. Diet is so important. Exercise magnifies the benefits and taking the proper nutrients that you could be lacking in, especially omega-3 and D3, is so important for your health. That's why I make them. I don't make them for sales. I make them and not other supplements because I don't think all supplements are good. I don't think all supplements are appropriate. I think these particular ones are vitally important and the research bears this out. If I told you exercise, just take these two supplements and 61% and reduce risk of cancer, that's the kind of studies I wanna share because they're important because they could save people's lives. If you use this information and apply it to your own life, to your loved ones, your wife, your, your husband, your your children, your families, your, your mother and father, your brothers and sisters, those who are important to you, if you share this information with them and they can make small changes, it's nothing to take a couple of supplements and do a work a minute a day, nothing, but to keep you from a 61% reduced risk of cancer, why wouldn't you want to do that? Cancer sucks, it's a horrible disease. So, this is my gift to you. This is why I do I, I do. This is why I only make specific supplements that I believe in, that I read the research on and feel they could be a great benefit to you and to save you from suffering. Suffering sucks. <laughs> suffering sucks not only for you to go through that suffering, but your whole family and everybody that cares about you to suffer along with you. Um, I just lost a friend just this week and it's heartbreaking. And you know, I don't wish that for anyone. And it's the reason I do what I do to try to keep people healthy in a way that they can enjoy life and be there and be present for their family and loved ones. Thank you for watching. I'll be back again with that heart study showing almost 70% of heart attacks, um, ischemic heart attacks could be prevented so unnecessary and you can do it just by changing your diet. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching and happy, happy January. Hope you have a great new year.